I get a lot of questions now about homocysteine. If you have a really high homocysteine level, it's hurting you. It causes bad inflammation, bad joint pain, muscle pain, back pain. You hurt all over one, one hip one day, one hip the other, knee this day, today, foot the next day, ankles, neck, whatever kind of goes around. And not only does it cause all that pain and inflammation, it also causes birth defects in unborn children. It causes, it's probably secretly, genetically, the number one cause of renal failure, chronic renal failure in the U.S. You don't want to have run around with a high homocysteine level. Also, it can cause high blood pressure. So if you want a magic way to lower your blood pressure, for a lot of people, it won't work with everyone, but you figure out how to deal with your homocysteine properly. There are six genetic SNPs that will cause you to have a high fixed homocysteine level. I don't think anyone knows about all these. It's crazy. But you can look at diagrams on Google Images, look at the methylation diagram, all that. You'll see how if you have any of these SNPs, it stops the transsulfuration pathway. MTR, MTRR, GGH, CBS, which is the big ugly. Though I don't know, I think MTRR and CBS are pretty similar in the problems they cause. And either one of the MTHFR SNPs, C677T, A129C, especially for homozygous on either one, but you have the compound heterozygosity, that's a big warning flag. You are not converting the homocysteine to glutathione. Again, it's going to shut down the transsulfuration pathway. There are also 12 vitamin deficiencies that will cause a temporarily high homocysteine level. We're, we're talking about things that cause a high fixed homocysteine level. It might be low and you have all those, it's because you're malnourished. And remember, homocysteine affects you indirectly by stimulating monocytes. White blood cells to release two cytokines, IL-8, which is interleukin-8, and MCP-1. Those cause all the problems, vascular inflammation, and everything else. So if you have a high homocysteine level and you have those genetics, you tried everything to bring it down, what you need to be checking is your IL-8. It's not that expensive. You can get it from your doctor or get it through direct labs. You can look at the link on my website order through them. And if you really want someone like me to look at it, get your homocysteine level and get your IL-8 and send it to us. And I'll look at it for you and we can talk. We can figure out a path going forward. The treatment for that, why it works, is a functional glutathione. 